Hello Internet, today's project is a drill press CNC router vise. Here it is in action. Here is a model of the vise showing the five wooden parts, the green base, the red fixed jaw, the purple moving jaw, the front yellow block, and the gray slider. Here are the dimensions that I used. Nothing is really critical, except in my case the distance between the hold down slots is, mat is sized to match the T slots in the CNC table. And of course all the jaw block recesses have to be sized to match the one half inch nut and washer hardware. Here is the machining of the base, which is made out of three-quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. A CNC router was used since I have one, but the project could be built with just a router table and drill press. Here the base is flipped to allow for routing of recesses for the slider. And here is the finished base. The router was used to mill mounting holes in the base. Here recesses are milled in the jaws to receive nut and washer hardware. The jaws were made from glue up of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. Here holes are drilled for washer retaining screws. The jaw block dimensions are two inches by two inches and five and five eighths inches long. The mounting holes were all countersunk on the drill press. Threaded brass inserts were inserted in the jaw blocks for jaw pad installation. This is a manual process. Do not turn the drill press on. A router table was used to mill rabbits in the slider piece. The slider piece is made from European beech hardwood. The slider is cut to its two inch length. I installed the front block nut off camera, but here is a demonstration of how it was done. The recess in the block is sized to provide a very firm fit for the one half inch nut. Five minute epoxy is used to hold the nut in permanently. A spare half inch bolt was used to pull the nut down into the recess. Finally, a half inch washer is held in place with retaining screws. Here, the fixed jaw is installed with two inch screws. The moving jaw was installed off camera. A 
nut was installed on the end of the screw with Loctite number 263. Grease is applied to the nut which will ride against a washer which will be in the bottom of the recess of the moving jaw. A half inch washer will be held in place with retaining screws in the moving jaw. Now the front block will be threaded onto the screw. And here the front block is fixed in place with two inch screws. And now the vise is nearly complete. Here an oak jaw pad is cut to final size. The partially complete vise is put to first use. Screw holes are milled into the vise pads. The screw holes are countersunk. Jaw pads are screwed to the jaw blocks. The partially complete vise is put to use again to mill the crank. The center hole receives a one half inch thread. A jam nut is pulled into a recess that was milled in the crank using a spare quarter inch bolt. Now the crank handle is attached to the crank. <laughs> the crank assembly is threaded onto the screw and is held firmly in place with half inch jam nuts. And that completes the vice. Thanks for watching.